Now at five, we're learning disturbing new details tonight about the Providence teacher's aide charged with sexually assaulting a special education student. We first broke the story Saturday night on Eyewitness News, and tonight we've learned the aide was allowed back at the school after the accusations were made against him. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell went to find out why. She joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with what she's learned. According to the school department, Anthony Tedeschi was on administrative leave but was brought back in December following an investigation and a hearing. We're told new information led to the arrest. A Providence teacher's aide is accused of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old boy who has autism. Now we've learned Anthony Tedeschi was allowed to return to school after the allegations were made against him. Police say the alleged assault happened here at Essex Hopkins Middle School in October. According to court documents, a school employee told police she caught Tedeschi inappropriately touching a student. The eyewitness also told police at the time of the alleged assault, the boy was lying on his back on a sensory Matt in a classroom and told Tedeschi to stop touching him. On Friday, months after the alleged assault, Tedeschi was arrested. We asked the school department why Tedeschi was ever allowed back in the classroom. This is their full response. School officials first became aware of this incident on October 23rd, shortly after it is alleged to have occurred, and immediately contacted the Providence Police Department and placed the employee on administrative leave pending investigation and a hearing. This investigation uncovered no evidence of wrongdoing at the time and the employee was cleared to return to work on December 9th 2015. School officials tell us Tedeschi is back on administrative leave so we went to his home today to try to get his side of the story. Mr. Tedeschi? A man who walked into the front door ignored us okay, and our request for an interview. Tedeschi is scheduled to appear in court on March 13th. Live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. New developments in a story we broke first on Eyewitness News. A Providence teacher's aide accused of molesting a student. Our coverage continues tonight with a closer look at the investigation that allowed the suspect to return to work last month. Plus, a little boy is killed in a tragic house fire in Westport. Now the owner of that home is facing new safety violations at the other properties she owns. We begin with a story we broke first on Eyewitness News. A Providence teacher's aide arrested this weekend. Anthony Tedeschi is accused of in inappropriately touching a student at Essex Hopkins Middle School in October. And tonight we're taking a closer look at the investigation and why the suspect was allowed to return to work last month. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in the capital city with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Providence school officials say new information came to light. Now Anthony Tedeschi is on administrative leave again. A Providence teacher's aide is back on administrative leave and is facing a criminal charge for allegedly sexually assaulting a 13-year-old boy who has autism. The alleged assault happened here at Essex Hopkins Middle School in October. Police investigated, the school department held a hearing, and Anthony Tedeschi was allowed to return to work on December 9th because according to school officials, the investigation uncovered no evidence of wrongdoing at the time. But school officials say new information recently surfaced, which led to Tedeschi's arrest on Friday. According to court documents, a school employee told police she caught Tedeschi inappropriately touching a student. The eyewitness also told police she heard the boy telling Tedeschi to stop touching him. We went to Tedeschi's home today to get his side of the story. Mr. Tedeschi? A man who walked into the front door ignored us. Hey, Tedeschi is scheduled to appear here in court on March 13th. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.